you like your car enough, sometimes you gotta uh, go out and get another one. What is going on guys? It's your boy Z85 Jew. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. I'm actually here at a place called San Diego Motoring. And unfortunately we have the 370Z Nismo out here. And you guys know I recently just picked up these wheels if you watched the last video. But turns out that the guy who sold me the wheels actually lied about them being all straight. Everything is good except for the last one. It's actually pretty bent. So I'm here at San Diego Motoring. They specialize in, it looks like just like making wheels straight um, they do powder coating i'm looking at their window custom wheels they do a bunch of stuff they have like some wheels on display right there but uh, if you guys are in the san diego area definitely check them out yeah hopefully they can revive that last wheel because if not man I, I pretty much just took an l in a way by buying these wheels and going all the way up there but uh let's just see what they have to say and then we'll go from there just for the thing yeah so you guys can see this thing is spinning and just look at that Thing is not straight at all so this guy completely lied to me that's crazy <sighs> all right guys bad news i'm on my way home right now and the shop told me that these wheels aren't repairable and when i say these wheels i mean specifically the driver rear wheel so i just reached out to the guy that i got these wheels from let's see if i can get a reply back i doubt it i mean like just think about it if you guys were to sell something to somebody you know you're kind of done especially that i bought these wheels out so far from me i bought these north of los angeles and i live here in san diego so that's not really a close drive but hey i mean if he comes through and says hey man you know sorry about that you know bring them back i'll refund you then like of course i'm, I'm heading up there that way to do that because you know I, I have no other option that that's that's ridiculous so with all that being said guys i mean if you guys ever sell anything on marketplace or anything like that just try to make sure you guys are being honest with people man because i'm not even like upset at at the fact that like you know they're messed up i probably might have still bought them if that was the case but if he was honest with me saying, hey, bro, you know, these wheels are messed up and, you know, I don't know if they're repairable or not, then like that's kind of up to me to take that chance. But he didn't say that at all. He didn't say, you know, anything about them. And uh, I'm driving right now and see if you can see what the wheel looks like. I mean, you guys already kind of saw it on the little, uh, I was about to say dyno, but on the little thing where it was spinning. And yeah, man, this wheel is gone, unfortunately. So the shop is actually going to look to see if they can order me a wheel. This wasn't really in the budget, so I wasn't really trying to fork out money for that because I have other things as far as the 2JZ370. But we'll just see, man. It just, it, it really sucks, man. I really hate that situations happen like this. But it's life you live and you learn and i don't even know what to say but yeah man just just be honest from now on bro be honest and i don't wish any bad on that guy you know i don't wish anything bad on anybody that does me wrong or anybody wrong you know that i feel like the way the universe works you get what you put in you know what i mean what you give out is the same energy that you'll give in so being sneaky and being like conceiving and just like a bad person like that unfortunately he's gonna have his come around whether that's with selling something or maybe with his car or whatever it is in life you know maybe a financial situation i don't know that's not up to me that's up to him and god and all that i don't know just try to be a good person man because this was a this is a complete waste of time now technically I, I can't even really drive this car you know um i could always swap the wheels from the 370 onto here but that's not really what those wheels on the 370 are for they're for that car in particular so we'll just have to see what happens man so i just got home and yeah like i said man it's a pretty unfortunate situation excuse my dryer it's like so loud and all honestly i really do like these wheels I think they complement the car really well as far as like just having that sporty look that I'm going for. And yeah, I just, I just wish that the circumstance was a little bit different, but I'm reaching out to the guy again, as I told you, and I'm just gonna wait for it to see what his response is and to see what we can do and maybe we can work out something and I'll update you guys later. Yeah, dude, I, I uh, <laughs> yeah, I ended up balancing this thing first this morning and that wasn't the fix. And you can actually just see, bro, like just even looking at it, like how bent this whole wheel looks. It's like crazy. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep my head up, man. I mean, at least, you know, I'm fortunate to have another car. And even though this one isn't running necessarily yet, we are doing something with this one today. I don't know if I'm going to put any of that in this video because this one was mainly about this car. But uh, yeah, I, I'm just super... Um, super bummed out about that you know i could have been really driving it around and really enjoying myself but now it's kind of like another thing to worry about not only 
that that's going on. But again, you know, this car isn't running yet. So it's just a pretty stressful situation for me. What's going on guys? Small little update. You guys know that my wheel is bent. So in the meantime, I'm actually just using the wheels off of the 370Z. And personally, to me, it looks a bit goofy. Uh, maybe just because it's not lowered. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like if the car was lowered, it might look good. But I, I just can't tell, man. I'll try to get you guys another angle after uh, this full hurry up. The funny thing is, though, the fitment is not too bad. <laughs> I don't know. To have no spacers on it, it's not too bad. Unlike the 370, these wheels on a stock 370Z, just even lowered. It, like, the fitment's trash, so I guess shout out for that. And this is the other side. Try to get you a better angle. I don't know about it, man. I just don't know about it. Hmm. Nah. So I tried to drive down the street and it looks like that these wheels, since I haven't ran them in so long, they're actually super flat. So the front is flat as well as this side, super, super flat. But I don't know, I guess they don't look too bad. You guys can kind of see how they look. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? You like them or no? I don't know if I like it yet. Obviously the car has to get lower, but we'll see. I think the rears are fine. I think it's mainly just the front. I don't know. Bro, don't bring your dog to a freaking thing to put air in your tires. It's just a hassle, bro. Yeah, the rears look fine though. I think it's mainly just the front. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do the front, bro. This is crazy. Bro, look at this. It's freaking stuck in my bumper. No way. Such a hassle. Come on. What is going on, guys? It's your boy Z85 Jew. We are back here with another video and today we are actually at a meet it's in rancho santa fe cars and coffee this is a very very high-end area and i already see a bunch of super nice cars and just crazy cars out here this is a, actually the first time i've ever been to this cars and coffee usually you guys see me go to south oc cars and coffee which is in san clemente but this one again like i said it's in san diego and it's it's really cool because this one happens every saturday just like the other one so i don't know why i haven't been going to this one because this one's a lot closer traffic is not as bad I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a walk around some cool cars you already know the deal like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for these cars man you guys will not be disappointed I promise all right so look at this, this is the first car that I'm gonna show you guys this is just a uh... dude that is so bro that's what I'm saying wow that thing is super clean but yeah this this meat is a uh, really really big so we're gonna walk around a little bit Another one, we have a little 458. That's a nice vehicle. Imagine being retired and just driving out I need every to find day. a sugar mom over here. Bro, we have to. We have to. My S13 boys. This is actually crazy. I bet this thing looks sick at night. This is your boy? Hey, <laughs> chill. This, this is a bill? This is what I look Sharpies like. His wheels? Is, wait, you like. think this is Sharpie, bro? Yeah, oh, it like, is. My rules. No, bro, it's not. That's Sharpie. No, that is. That is Sharpie. Is yes, look, 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 you can see the, uh, the, the, uh, you which part? Why would I do that, Rob? Why would I, I do just that? <laughs> now, this is, uh, interesting, though. Very interesting, for sure. What do you guys think about that? Alright, the next thing we're trying to figure out is what the heck this is. Yeah, no, no, pronounce that, please. Rizzo <laughs> That actually sounded no, you, for, for once in your life that actually sounded good. This is, no, this is the same one that it's uh, called Rezavani Tank. Rezavani Tank? Like it's actually called Tank, I think. Hmm. This is pretty sick. Yeah, right here, look. See? Oh shoot. Yeah, tank. Dang. It literally is though. This that one is you can jump. That's the belt license plate. You know I can see the Stradman owning something like this. This needs to be in his garage. You know, you for know sure. what actually who had one? Um, who? 
the Hamilton collection. Really? I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same uh, brand, but they had one and they had like hell issues with it. No way. Because they, they, they had like a hell swap, or yeah, I think they call it hell swap, which is hell cam motor. Mm. And like they jumped it and it like cracked the subframe or something like that. It, yeah, no they had, like, way. It looks like, it, it, it doesn't look as durable, I feel like. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like it looks like a tank, but like the. Well, the more I get close to it, the like less it looks like Terrible. it's gonna last. I like guess. That girl is going. <laughs> like. <laughs> I think they were. They were like. Oh no way! Like the camera up there. For real? Yeah, you got like that point, something like that. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Color on the Viper, is sick man. It's not the ACR. Love that. Right? I think it's for okay. sure. This is not the ACR. I don't know. Yeah, this one this is dope one, too. Would you take the green one or the blue one? Oh. I think the blue one. We're walking right here. This lineup is all Lexuses, and these are like all the like I guess the most rare ones. So this is an ISF, LC500, RCF, GSF. This fool, and then another ISF. And I guess this one's pretty rare because of the colorway. I don't know, but all these cars are really sick. Basically, what this meet is about is just like. People bringing out the most rarest things and just craziest things out of here. He installed that wing by himself. That's what I mean. I was gonna, I'm gonna ask you guys one more time. It comes with this? No, it doesn't come with this wing, but it does come with that. I don't know why he would put that on there. I like the wheels, rays. And, you know, and you can see he has hawk pads or something. See, they're they're green. Is it a build though? Hold on. Is it a build? Is it a build? Uh huh. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Just peep the seats in this uh, GSF and look, bro. This fool has like Sparco. It's pretty sick. I like that. Wait, how do you feel about the different color wheels? I don't like that. No. I was actually thinking about. I was looking at that right now. So he has blue in the back and uh, then black in the front with yellow calibers and an orange car. Come on. Those now. are still wrap blue. Wrap or paint? It's uh, it's wrap. No, it's it's paint. It's paint. It's paint. paint? It's paint. Yeah, it's paint. Yep, it's paint. You can tell. So I was telling Robert right now, um, he loves GT3 RSs, but I was telling him that I'm I'm good with just a GT3. He's like, oh why, why you know? I was like, yeah, you know, it's budget, you know what I mean? I, I know he's gonna buy it cash. I can't do that right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You think it's going to start? Yeah. Um, I mean, like the carbon, so or do they change the was, This is a car you don't get in black. Well, when you buy a car like that, or what? Because you can't see none of the, the accents the and accent the body lines. Like, I didn't even know I had that fender until I got closer. Yeah, you actually you're not yeah, you're not lying. Well so what color would you buy it in? Like white or what? Red. Red? What about you? Yeah, I'm a red person. Silver or white? Silver or white. About any color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually really want a white one with purple. White so, is sick. White car. Um, purple uh I got bit by one of those dogs, guys, but we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> uh, white car, uh, really purple uh, no 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 no, excuse me, white car, yellow cage, yellow calipers, and um, yeah. Wait, what, what interior does he have? No, no case. Oh, so he literally he has black on white stitching. Wait, but I forgot those ones The clear tails. The clear tail. Oh yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you have to get the clear tail. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Call me straight to voicemail. Straight to voicemail. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That car with clear tails like is crazy. Like walking up and there's a freaking F40, bro. No, no, no. We're looking at this car. This is a dang no way, bro. I think this is the same one that pulls up to a uh, South OC Cars and Coffee, bro. This is an absolute legend of a car, bro. You can see the intercoolers right at the top, right here. Both of them. Oh, sorry. Nah, this is dope, though. Super sick. This should be caution Bro, this should be parked in the front, bro, somewhere. This is crazy. It's probably what, like three million or so? Just for this machine right here, bro. I wonder how much it costs to maintain, though. That's another question. You know what I mean? Um, I know her retirement. Bro, seven. And you have retirement. I wonder how much he paid. Bro, bro. And then they take off. <laughs> I would too. If you hit an F40, you have to take off. If you hit an F40, you probably get a point on your record. Yeah, absolutely. Probably. Yeah. F40. You probably would have plenty yeah, of I don't even know. That's how, that's how. <laughs> He's like, I don't even know. Insurance will drop you. You hit what? And you'll be on the ding list. <laughs> no you hit what? Insured, We're not insuring any other cars. You can't drive. Yeah, no. License get revoked. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that would be crazy. Here is my car, man. I got to own this. It's a regular GT3. 
No. Rob really put me on to uh, to these cars. I knew what they were, but not really to uh, to his his ex extent. What? I had this exact. Oh, you're talking about that one. With this exact. I actually, I actually still have this kit. Exactly. If anybody wants this kit, let me know. I hate this car. This man had a Miata. Same. same he owned everything, Miata, actually. Chrome. You said what? He owned everything. You, you had everything. Didn't I you? know you're not talking he about. Let me, let me. You had a Lexus, BMW, another BMW. Hey, listen here. Listen here. I have two cars. Two. Z Nismo. What else did you have, bro? This man has a build that he don't drive. A build. Two forty. He had another BMW that he just sold recently and got his three fifty Z Nismo. Chris, you ready, man? Oh, right now. Just say that. Sorry, man. Actually, you're home. I am home. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this car. So once all these cars pass, but bro, he has boost gauges outside <laughs> of his window. <laughs> yeah, like bro, what the heck? I ain't never seen that. Different branch of sound effect. Different tax. So you right don't take, take this out until you see that sign. Nah, for real though. Isn't it right? Yeah, look, they're actually like mounted to the chassis, which is. Crazy. I mean, obviously, I don't think it's a problem if they get wet because you know they're they're loomed up and everything. But it is kind of weird to see that they're outside of uh, the cabin. Really? Like it has them mounted outside like that? Yeah. That's crazy. So what now, man? Oh, he ain't got no power steering. Yeah. Yeah, no power steering. Let me watch the news. My boy fighting that stand wheel. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm about to get hit. Lord, total me. I need to check. <laughs> no, you just said don't call the shares. I got you. That's how funny. That thing smell like a like a go kart, bro. <laughs> Not the double R, bro. Thereof. This thing is crazy. Uh, I think juice car sitting this high. <laughs> That's hella messed up. He said, I think juice car sitting this high. It probably is, but hey, we're gonna fix that here soon. This thing looks so comfortable. I love how like the doors open up from like the front instead of the back. That's so player. Wait, what's on the top? Oh, does he have stars? Oh no, he doesn't have stars. I don't know. He got mustard on the back. Yeah, they pay for <laughs> So so random. I don't know. Maybe he just bought that at the store. What is that? Mustard. That's mustard. Isn't that a? Uh, that's honey mustard. Isn't that supposed to be frozen or uh, like in the fridge? Nope. I don't know. It's a big car. This is crazy, man. Honestly, I look at all this stuff as like motivation, not so much like, oh, look at what they have kind of thing, because even for the cars that I own now, it's like you never would have thought that you own them. Um, but yeah. But hey, you know what's crazy though? That like one day, you know, obviously we're looking at all these like crazy expensive cars. Our and like, cars are going to be the same. We'll, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. But we'll, we'll get there. You know okay. what I mean? I thought you were That's why I was just, I was looking at all this. I was like, I don't look at it as like, uh, like oh, oh, look at what they have. Yeah, yeah. it's like, like no, I can't wait to get there. Kind of, yeah. you know no, I mean? it makes me go like 10 times harder. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll be able to pull this yeah. up and this. But like, Drew, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you can't have it, but, you know. And then, and then this build will be done and then you won't drive this one, right? Yeah. It makes it. Yeah, no, no, you're right though. But you know what I mean? Like. When you gotta, you really do gotta look at it like that. Cause even like think about the cars you have, like you know, like you, like you were saying for your ST, it's like, dude, I want this car. You were looking all over for it, and then like you got it, it's like, oh there's shoot, a, there's yeah. somebody. And out then there. the Nismo, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, that, 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 that goes back to what I told you all the time. When I told Chris, like, yeah, the Nismo is like a prime example of you know what I mean? Like everything will get you fall in place. Yeah, exactly. You know, I wanted exactly. the car, didn't know how I was gonna get it. Got the car, I wanted boosted, didn't know how I was gonna boost it, boosted it. Exactly. Right? Yes, so, I'm saying. So just like looking at like stuff like yeah. this, you know. We'll def yeah, figure it out, bro, for sure. This is crazy, though. This trunk space, like Chris was saying, is like, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what can you fit in that trunk? They should have just put something else there, like that. Of course you would say snack. Of course you would say snack. But why is there a cigarette lighter? Where? Oh, snap. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, so you no, could put no. your, uh, like, a 10 foot cord? No, no, so no. It, it's, uh, it's for when, like, your tires are flat. When no, your tires are flat. Tender. Oh, no, that is, that is probably a compressor in there. No, or one of those. Just can you plug it into the. the uh, I, was, I was like, who, man? I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, like, hmm, like, is he right? Or... <laughs> no, yeah, I think it's when your tires are flat. Yeah, you know brand new thing. You still got the sticker? Oh, Lord. Damn, this sun is hitting that wheels right now. 
Yeah, that's OD, bro. This car is crazy. The aerodynamics on this thing is sick. You can literally see like right through it, bro. That's so dope, bro. So Chris was saying that, yeah, white, you definitely could see, I guess, all the axes. And he's right, because that black one, the fender, uh, I guess like the fender vents and everything like that, it, was, it blended in. So you really can't see it. But this damn truck would move. All right, now. Anyways, yeah, you can you can definitely tell. I don't know if I like the the whole like green with like the yellow. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't think that's a good spec. we're simple. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So just walking up to this thing, you can actually see the car is white. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. Yeah, you guys can see that. It's paint. No way. So it's like white from the side. If you look at it right here, it looks kind of green almost. I'm like, what do you look at, bro? That is crazy, actually. But again, what I was saying, I don't really know if I like the the green and then it has like the yellow calipers and stuff like that. And the interior is a black with white stitching. I don't know. That paint is crazy though. I actually didn't, you can't see that from afar at all. Oh man. I love it out in this area for sure. And just like that guys, this meet is actually over. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop me a like. Comment on this video, what was your favorite car that you saw? I think out of all the cars, I really like that F40. That F40 was so sick. It just, you don't see those. And like the value on those cars is just crazy. It's mine, I wonder what the guy bought it for. But again, with all that being said, please leave a like. My music started. Please leave a like, comment on this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. All right guys, so we just pulled up to the Shimmy Race meet, and this is the only car that I care about. Again, full pop this hood. I definitely oh, yeah. had to come check this thing out. He's Tomei. Yes, sir.